Shortly after I published a blog entry registering my surprise at the high price Horizons got for its low margin ETF business, new research out of Europe suggests in fact that in that market ETF providers have profit margins more than four times as high as traditional mutual fund companies. I was quite surprised by that research. I'm sure many others were as well. Dave, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I was uh, also surprised. Uh, it was interesting because it answered a question that I think a lot of us had, which was how were these ETF providers able to charge such low expenses? And, and specifically, I'm talking about um, some of these ETFs that are um, pursue plain vanilla index strategies uh, to, you know, um, replicate you know, common indices like the S&P or the TSX uh, and charge MERs that are below um, 10 basis points. It begged the question, where's their money left for any type of profit, never mind profit margins that are bigger than the mutual fund industry. Mm -hmm. And so w w what is? Yeah, the so the, an the answer there was it, the securities lending programs that these firms are engaging in turns out to be quite profitable business. Mm -hmm. And just as a recap for the layman, securities lending program would refer to the fact that if you invest in a mutual fund or an ETF, your stocks or, or, or bonds are, are just sitting there with a the custodian. They can, in fact, lend those out and earn interest on them. Yeah, uh, I I exactly. So whether it's a stock or bond uh, uh, being lent out, um, there's an exchange. The fund manager receives an interest rate um, for the period that that's being borrowed. A collateral is posted by the borrower um, with the lender so that in the, in the event of, you know, that they can't return the security, that there is collateral there that the lender could then take. Um, and typically, this collateral is posted as or invested in very, um, what are supposedly very liquid and uh, secure in investments, uh, typical sort of money market type investments. The trouble is that there are periods of time where, you know, presumably safe, liquid investments aren't always the, that way, and we saw that in the financial crisis uh, when Lehman collapsed. Um, in short order, liquidity dried up very quickly and losses were taken on what were considered to be guaranteed in investments. Uh, so that can certainly pose some problems. So there are risks associated with securities lending. It, it is also presumably quite a profitable business. It appears so, yeah. I mean, um, when we see the types of profit margins that these companies are, are posting, um, uh, it certainly provides evidence of that. Um, what I find really surprising is that those profits aren't, own, uh, aren't owned by the fund investor. And it appears that in different markets, there are probably different rules associated with this. In the U.S. and or Europe, and, and I think the U.S. as well, it seems to be the case that the um, fund company can decide how much of it to pay out to investors and that different providers do have different policies in this regard. Unfortunately, there's not a ton of transparency around this, and it's not at all clear what the different providers um, pay out and how much they keep. And my question is why they get to keep any of it. I mean, these are risks taken with fund investor assets. It's, it's an income being earned from the investment, not dissimilar to a dividend. Yeah, I, I don't see the difference between... Um, income earned either a capital gain on a stock trade or interest income from a bond or, as you say, a dividend from a, a stock ownership um, and revenue from securities lending. Why, why is that so different that it should not be owned by the fund investor when their capital is put at risk in order to earn this return? And ostensibly, they're already paying the manager a fee for their services through the uh, management expense ratio. Uh, anyway, as I mentioned, there's not a lot of transparency along this, and it's certainly something that we'll um, keep our eye on and look more into as we go forward.